Chichester is celebrating the Platinum Jubilee in style today. This morning there was a gala day carnival procession through the streets and now a family fun day is underway at Priory Park. Our reporter Chris O'Brien caught up with Lindsay Parlow, whose business benefited from our Make a Difference campaign. I think the majority of Chichester's turned out for this and it's been so lovely to actually have a procession and, and bring everybody out after such a long um, pandemic. So it's, it's fabulous. The Platinum Jubilee is doing just that, isn't it? It's bringing everybody back together. Life has restarted. That's what it feels like. Absolutely. And I think the highlight of the gala for me was that the Ukraine families were walking um, in the gala. And our charity Business to Schools has been doing a lot to support them since they arrived um, in the UK and particularly in Chichester because Chichester actually had the biggest response of um, host families so we have 200 families in Chichester so our schools are full of new pupils and, and children and students and because our charity um, takes the things businesses don't need and, and then we donate them to, to local um, schools we've been able to provide them with laptops which has been incredible for them to pick up English, to support their families as well and, and to really get them you know, fitting in and having all the things that they need. Tell me about the journey because Make a Difference, our Make a Difference Awards played a huge part in this, didn't they? Um, Make a Difference was, was incredible for business to schools. So we were quite a small charity, just um, a, we had about 400 schools registered with us and we take the things businesses don't need and, and then we rehome them and, and they're repurposed in schools rather than being recycled, which is such, you know, huge carbon emissions involved in that. But also each time something goes to a school, those children know which company it's come from. So we've had lots of things from the BBC, laptops and television centre furniture and things like that. So how exciting for those children to have all that provenance and, and know that you know the things you finished with are, are going you know to be used in, in their learning. But when we got picked up for the Give a Laptop campaign was huge recognition for us. So since since then, that was January 2021, we now have 4,600 schools registered with us. They register for free and everything we give them is free and that's really important because schools can't afford to, to buy furniture and, and technology at the rate that we give it to them. But what that PR did for us was all the big brands saw us. Everyone that was moving wanted to give their things to schools and, and we the schools post like lots of little cheesy little videos and lovely photos and thank you letters. So how lovely for those businesses to see exactly where their things are going and, and so we've done some really big moves. We did we've done lots for the BBC with your laptop upgrade. So you've given us around three thousand laptops which are all in schools. And actually when we do those moves it's quite interesting when you talk to the schools because because we said to the schools, you know, when, when your children grow up, what do they want to be? And they all said social media influence is, the, is a top choice in a primary school. And then they said, but when all this furniture was arriving from Freshfields and the BBC, suddenly everyone wants to be a journalist or a lawyer. And today we found over 100,000 laptops and, and more offers of devices come in every day because most businesses replace their things every three to five years, where a school replenishment of laptops, which they didn't even have before the lockdown anyway, is 10 years. So five to seven years of purposeful life being destroyed when you know it can go into schools and it can help learning and we've talked for so long about the gap between the independent schools and the state schools and by taking away digital poverty and making you know no digital divide means that that gap will narrow and that catch up is better on technology there's nothing you can do in life now without having access to you know a mobile or a tablet um, laptop whatever that is and whatever your age and and so we need to make sure children are equipped from the day they start school Lindsay Parlow chatting to our reporter Chris O'Brien from Chichester